L power tests, testing relative compression of engine cylinders. The L power test automatically analyzes battery voltage and current waveforms in order to obtain a quick and comprehensive diagnostic of battery, alternator, starter, and other high current electrical consumers. In this new version of the test, we added relative compression testing of gasoline and diesel engines. The engine needs to be inhibited from starting for 3 to 5 seconds during the test. The engine should then be allowed to start. This can be done by replacing the engine, ignition system, or possibly the fuel system fuse with a fused test switch that can be turned on or off at will. Recording signals for the analysis is very simple. The following connections are needed. Connect the black alligator clip from the USB Autoscope 4 power cord to the negative terminal of the vehicle battery and the red to the positive terminal. Use one measuring adapter and cable with a small alligator clip connected to the positive battery terminal. Connect the adapter to input number 1 of the USB Autoscope 4. Connect the current transducer, APA 36T, to input number 4 of the USB Autoscope 4. Move the switch on the current transducer to the 600 amps range. Since it does not matter whether we use the positive or negative part of the circuit, position the current transducer around all the negative or positive wires coming from either battery terminal and orient the current transducer so the polarity mark coincides with the positive side of the circuit. In this particular case, it is more convenient to work with the positive terminal. Press the zero button. In the USB oscilloscope program, choose Mode, then go to L Power. Start the waveform recording. Close the jaws to embrace all the wires emanating from the battery terminal. Turn signal lamps on for 3 to 5 seconds, then turn them off. Turn off the previously installed test switch. Turn on the ignition and wait a few seconds for the fuel pump to shut back off. Crank the engine for 3 to 5 seconds, then turn the test switch back on. The engine should start. Stop cranking and let the engine run. 5 to 10 seconds after engine start, turn on the hazard lamps. And after 3 to 5 seconds, turn them back off. Stop the engine by turning off the key. Open the jaws of the current transducer, then close them again. Turn off the waveform recording. In the USB oscilloscope window, choose the menu. Analysis. Then go to Execute Script. Then enter values of battery starting current and standard of measurement. Stamped or written on top of the battery housing. In this case, 610 amps. Standard EN. Click OK. As you can see, in addition to the standard analysis results, the L power test algorithm produced additional information. The engine revs during the cranking of the starter was 240 revolutions per minute. The difference in relative compression between the engine cylinders did not exceed 10%. For example, this is what the L power test report obtained on the engine, in which one of the cylinders compression was bad.